Hi, I'm Randall Heyman, a mathematics academic. You're on one of my Corona Help playlists where I do quick turnaround videos to help educators and their students during the coronavirus outbreak. If you'd like me to make a video for you, be it at primary school, secondary school or university level, then just put a comment below any of my videos. Or if you want, you can drop me an email at coronahelpmathematics at gmail.com. So we have finally got to, let me turn on my pen, we finally got to compactness and I've uh, illustrated it with my rainbow pen there because it's something important. So let me, all I want to do in this video, I think is put up um, some definitions of compactness, which pull together a lot of what we've talked about in previous videos. And I think I'll leave it there. And then in another video that I'll probably do tomorrow, I'll look at it in a few a few examples, um, which maybe will help you. But in the meantime, if you want, you can look up some examples and some questions yourself, which will focus focus you. So compactness. So um, the following. Actually, let me start it this way. Let S be a set. I've been doing everything here in RN, but a lot of what we talk about applies to other metric spaces. So maybe I'll talk about that in some future um, some future videos. Uh, the following are equivalent. Dot dot. So the first is S is compact or a compact set, whichever way you want to put it. Two, uh, every sequence in S has a subsequence, not only has it got a subsequence, but it must converge. So converging, oh, let me write that again. I'm starting to get tired and my writing goes downhill. Converging to a point uh, of or in S. Whichever way you want to look at that. Three, uh, this is comic S is closed and bounded. So we've talked about closed sets, we've talked about bounded sets, and in the previous few videos, we've talked about sequences and subsequences. The hardest one is this one, which uh, talks about covers, which we just did. This one takes a little bit longer to get used to every open cover has a finite subcover okay so that's compactness very important concept uh, I think it it's what makes uh, Riemann or integration that we learn in high school work. Um, it's also important in some of the other things, uh, things like functions, continuous functions, getting to maximums and things like that. Very important concept, compactness. So there's a definition, and I think I'll, I'll leave it there at this stage. If you've got any questions about any of this or any other aspect of mathematics, well, please, um, please uh, drop me a, an email or comment below any of my videos.